yeah so many questions about the shape of sigma or the shape of pi we talked about how pi is formed so if you want to look at it uh, this is the rough idea of how they form these there is the sideways overlap which creates pi and there is the direct overlap or head on overlap and that creates sigma all right now when that happens these have these uh, angles between them which were 90 to begin with right but what if an atom wants to make one bond with so it is easy for oxygen to share one electron with one of the other oxygen and another one with another of oxygen and get the sigma and a pi. Or if nitrogen were to do that, nitrogen will just get, uh, so nitrogen has these bonds, right? So judging by this, you can see that there are triple bonds, which means one to form a sigma and the next two are pi. So first bond overlap. So if nitrogen were to bond with another nitrogen, there'll be a sigma between them. There'll be one pi up and below, and there will be another pi on the side, like the right side, which is this side and the one behind them. So if I were to look at nitrogen and that nitrogen, there'll be one like this, there's sigma in the middle, and there is pi on the sides, okay? So this is sigma, this is one, and this is the other pi. So that is how they make these. So it's like a, there is this uh, sigma in the middle, which is sandwiched between the two pi. One pi is from top and bottom, and one pi is from left and right. Now, there is one problem with that. We know that P is always 90 degrees. But over here, what's happening is that they're overlapping, and the angles are changing, obviously, because the shape of the orbit is changing. And that's fine. That's fine because uh, they're still doing, like, one of them is in this direction. One of them is in this direction and one of them is top and bottom. So they can still do it. There is X, there is Y, and there is Z. So they can still do it. But what if the same nitrogen wants to make one sigma with hydrogen here, one sigma with hydrogen here, one sigma with hydrogen here, and leaves the other two electrons like that? Uh, one term that we need to know is that these are the ones that we call pi electrons. Uh, these are the lone pairs. So this is a lone pair. This is not involved in bonding. And this is a bond pair. Now, what about this case? So if you look at nitrogen in the center, this is the central atom. Nitrogen has three electrons. The contribution of nitrogen is like this. The second electron has that. I'm just knowing the last shell, okay? So one, two, three. And hydrogen, it has just this. So what's technically happening is that nitrogen is sharing its last shell with this one. And obviously, it can't just share it with the same one, spin. So what happens is that first nitrogen comes here, shares its electron, making the first sigma bond. Second nitrogen, come, hydrogen comes here, makes the second sigma bond. The third one comes here, makes the third sigma bond. And now, because of the the overlap of these orbitals, they both have complete subshells, they're both stable, their spins are cancelled out, there is symmetric cloud, whatever way you want to define this in. But remember, the nitrogen has just one, the three Ps, and those three Ps have to be 90 degrees to each other, which means that now with these extra electrons coming in, and the S is also being there. There's going to be a lot of confrontation between the hydrogen nucleus and the new nucleus of nitrogen because hydrogen and nitrogen are going to attract these two. And, and nitrogen is trying to keep this pair independent. And not just that, if nitrogen shares PX with one hydrogen, it can't share PX with the other. It has to share PY or PZ with the other. And there's going to be repulsion because of that. Because obviously, electrons are going to repel the other electrons. So what does an orbital try to do? Orbital tries to reduce the repulsion. 
or they want to get the minimum repulsion that they can. And what better way to get the minimum repulsion than to get maximum area in which this bond pair or this lone pair can move around. So because of that, what happens is that nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, these many, many different things who want to make multiple single bonds, multiple, multiple sigma bonds. Remember, every bond pair starts with sigma. And then the second bond pair is pi. So between nitrogen and hydrogen, there's only one sigma. This is sigma. This is sigma. This is sigma. Because it's the single bond. The double bond is sigma and pi. The third bond is sigma, pi, pi. Three different orbitals coming in. So to get to this goal, where they want to have minimum repulsion and maximum area, they do two things. First of all, they create hybrid orbitals. These hybrid orbitals are slightly different from the shape of P that they already have. They are in the shape of sigma usually. And they are much more flexible. They can have more area around them. And that makes them repel each other less. They also have lower energy, which makes them more stable than P on its own. And they're hybrid because they're made from S or P overlap and all that. And this allows the molecule to get, most importantly, this allows the molecule to get angles that are bigger than 90. Because now P, X, and Z, they are not just uh, 90 degrees away. With hybrid orbitals, they're more versatile. So they don't have to stay in X. They don't have to stay in Y. They don't have to stay in Z. They can be in between them. They can move around. There is more versatility. And these hybrid orbitals are at lower energy than the P, which means that now atoms are more stable and the bond can have more area. So for example, in the case of nitrogen, instead of getting an angle of 90 between these molecules and this lone pair, what nitrogen does is that nitrogen goes into 3D. Right now, nitrogen is in 2D. But with these more electrons coming in, nitrogen is able to push them away and get greater areas. And this is what we call Vesper theory. Vesper theory says that it is valence shell electron pair repulsion. So two things that we're going to consider. One is the hybrid orbitals and one is Vesper. I'll explain Vesper first and then we'll get to hybrid orbitals. What exactly is Vesper? Vesper is saying that when it comes to the shape of the molecule, once they're bonded, they want to maximize the area in which they can move and minimize the repulsion between these bond pairs. And for that, they create new orbitals and these orbitals are not confined to just the Px or Py or Pz. They can have more area, which means they can have greater angles. And how do they do that? Now, Vesper is much easier because you don't have to actually know how the thing happens, the way it happens. How does the molecule attain a certain shape? You just have to know what shape it is. So I'll start with a very simple example. What do we have to look at? We have to always look at the central atom. Always look at the central atom. And not just that. Within the central atom, look at electron dense regions or the regions where electrons are. Okay, that's the first thing. And not just that, always look at the sigma. Only sigma matters. Pi doesn't matter for the shape. Clear? So you either look at the electron dense region or you look at the sigma bonds. Pi doesn't matter for reasons that we'll study later on. So you look at the central atom, and in the central atom, you look at the sigmas. And those sigmas will try to maximize the area in which they can go and minimize the repulsion between them. So let me talk about uh, the simplest case, carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is like this. You know how to make this structure, right? Now, how many sigma bonds it has? There is one sigma here, sorry, and one sigma here. Just look at sigma. Don't look at the other. Now, the total area around this is 360 degrees. 
and what is the maximum distance or maximum angle these oxygen atoms can be away from each other there are two sigma to divide 360 by 2 and that is 180 degrees and that's exactly what they'll do they will be 180 degrees apart and what shape will our molecule get now the molecule if you were to connect it end to end it will be one straight line so we call it a linear molecule it's a line let's look at another one be cl2 be is the central atom sharing one electron with one chlorine one electron with the other chlorine there are two sigmas so because of two sigmas the angles are going to be 360 divided by two and that is 180. if i were to connect them i will get one straight line end to end so that is linear that's the shape of the molecule. They have the minimum repulsion and they have the maximum area in which they're spread around. Let's look at another one. Uh, let's say we have AlCl3. AlCl3. This is interesting because aluminum is a metal, but aluminum still makes covalent bond with chlorine. So if you look at aluminum, there's one chlorine, one chlorine, third chlorines. If this was confined to just uh, the traditional orbitals, then it will have px, py, and pz to overlap, which means it can only make angles of 90. But with Vesper and with uh, these hybrid orbitals, it's able to do more than that. Because look at this the total angles are 360. And if you have three things, three sigmas, how many divisions will you have to do? 360 divided by 3, 120, right? So why not spread them around like that? Instead of having 90 degrees, why not have chlorine spread around as much as you can and that gives us 120 degrees so connect them end to end what do you get you get a triangle right so if you were studying in us or from a us book the american book call it a triangular shape because that's what it is but british books they have difficult vocabulary so they call it trigonal instead of triangular trigonal planar planar means that you can put all of them on one table and they will still be on the table there's nothing no hide involved every molecule is on the every atom is on the same level if i were to draw a 3d diagram for this there is aluminum here there's one element uh, one chlorine here one in the back one in the front this is supposed to be a 3d diagram this is right Eight. If you're looking at a screen, then this, this chlorine is coming out of the screen towards you. And that dotted chlorine is inside the screen, away from you. And the aluminum and chlorine are on the screen. So imagine having a 3D shape and that's how it is. So this is at the back, this is at the front, this is on the left. So this is all on a plane. So this trigonal planar, three sigmas, one, two, three. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the next one. Yeah. When we shapes, we have to make the bonds ki shape isi ki banani hai. Matlab, ek dotted line, ek straight line, or triangular. Thi. Yeah. If they ask you to draw 3D, yeah. If they ask you okay, to draw sir. a 3D shape, then you will have to do it like that. Okay, sir. Yeah. Let's look at another one. Uh, let's say we have uh, CH4. So I have. C with one, two, three, four. And this is interesting because carbon, the configuration is this. And technically carbon cannot make four bonds because it can share this one. It can share this one, but this, should, it shouldn't be able to share that. But we'll talk about that when we talk about hybridization. So with hybrid orbitals, uh, carbon is able to make four bonds and use all four electrons in bonding. So it's all because of hybrid orbitals. And then because of those hybrid orbitals, it is not confined to these 90 degree angles. It doesn't have to. In fact, what it does is that now it is confined. It can have more angles. Like if it wanted to, it could get much bigger angles. Instead of having 360 degrees, now it has three dimensions open to it. And because of these three dimensions, it can get like... Uh, bigger angles so for example uh, the angles if you look at it carbon now instead of having three 
uh, sorry, instead of having four 90 degree angles, carbon goes into the third dimension and makes one hydrogen at the top, one on the side, one in the front, one at the back. If you want to look at it, imagine looking at a fan. You must have seen one of those in your own mind, right? Then the fan has usually one rod connecting to the, the roof of your room, and there are three wings that it has. So that is the shape that we're looking at at the moment. And because of hybrid orbitals, the angles are not 90 anymore. They are much bigger than 90 because it allows it greater room and greater uh, minimum repulsion. So the angle, instead of having this, the angle is 109.5. So how many sigmas? One, two, three, four. So having these four sigmas allows it to get bigger angles, so reducing the repulsion, getting maximum area in which they can go. So, so far, what have we seen? Let me summarize this. If you have two sigmas, it is 180. If you have three sigmas, it is 120. If you have four sigmas, it is 109.5. Uh, and turns out that this angle is pretty much constant. And if I were to make a shape here, what shape will I get? Let me connect it edge to edge. That is a very weird shape. Let me make an outline of it. So if I were to connect it, I will get like a pyramid of sorts, a very weird pyramid with this triangular at the bottom. So it's a triangular pyramid, right? How many sides does this pyramid have? It has one side here. It has one bottom, one side on the left, and one side at the back. Four sides. So four-sided four pyramid. And four-sided, if you were to translate that to English that people spoke 400 years ago, it will be tetrahedral. Four-sided. That's it. So the molecule has uh, four sides. And that is what it is. It's a tetrahedral structure. Okay? That's the geometry. And interestingly, this continues. So for example, if I had something like uh, phosphorus pentafluoride, and this, by the way, is impossible if you're having just me, it's not able to do it. You will need five pairs to share, which you can't do with just P. But because of hybrid orbitals, they can. So this phosphorus has five fluorine that it is joined to. And if this wasn't for hybrid orbitals, the angle would be 360 divided by 5, which will push these molecules really close to each other because the angle will be 72 degrees. These atoms will be really close and constantly repelling each other. But with hybrid orbitals, with this, but they don't have to. Instead, what it does is, it says that, all right, let's start with three of them. What was the shape of three of them? It was this shape, right? Let me copy this. Let me copy this. So this thing. I'm making a copy of this. So now instead of having these shapes, let me change them a little bit. Instead of having chlorine, I have these things have changed a little bit. So I have phosphorus, chlorine here, chlorine here, chlorine here. By the way, I'm just drawing three of them at the moment. So there are three in the same plane. All right. And then what do I do next? I have made a triangle, right? I made a triangle. And this triangle is in one plane. And then I add one at the top, one at the bottom. What do I shape? What shape do I have now? This is a triangular pyramid, right? It's a pyramid. And there's one at the bottom as well. If I were to connect them, it will be a pyramid. Super V, Niche V. It's like a pyramid of a triangle superco or a pyramid inverted niche ko. Two pyramids ko join kiya hai. Aur wo dono pyramids triangle wale hai. So it's triangular. I'm drawing, taking a shape of it. So I have three of them in the same plane and one at the top and one at the bottom. So if you remember, it was a meter just in that. So if you remember your, uh, D3 maths wali. So, we have 3D trigonometry. And you have to say that the top or bottom is 90. And that's exactly what happens here. So, now you have two angles that are of 90 degrees and three angles that are of 120 degrees. So, imagine if I had just this, the angle would be 72 
तो एक दूसरे को कितना पुश कर रहे होते बट बिकॉज दीज हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल एंड एक्सपैंडेड ऑक्टेट टर्म इज एक्सपैंडेड ऑक्टेट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देर एबल टू रिड्यूस द रिपल्शन एंड गेट मैक्सिमम एरिया फॉर दम and i'll take another one i'll take it one step further and what if we have sf6 sulfur with 6 yep yeah yeah what was the shape yeah. about the pf5 what was it called so there are two pyramids right so just trigonal because triangular pyramid so this is a trigonal pyramid upper and trigonal pyramid niche so we call it trigonal bi pyramid There's two pyramids, both of them triangular pyramids. So trigonal bi pyramid. In uh, American books, they just call it a diamond shape, which is much easier to remember. And uh, SF six would be. So you have this shape, right? Uh, sir, in this case, if I had, do we use the American yeah? terms, or do we have to use these ones? You have to use British term. If this was for just P, पहली बात है छे इलेक्ट्रॉन सो शेड है शेयर कर ही नहीं सकता फिर सर में इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सपैंडेड ऑक्टेट एक्सपैंडेड ऑक्टेट एंड हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल दैट इट्स एबल टू मेक दीज सिक्स पॉइंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दीज सिक्स पॉइंट इफ इट वॉज जस्ट फॉर दैट दी एंगल वुड बी थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी विच विल क्रिएट है बहुत ज्यादा रिपल्शन होगी सो दिस डजेंट वर्क सो इन शर्ट ऑफ हैविंग दिस वट इट डज इज दैट सल्फर shares one at the top one at the bottom and then four around it it's like a sheet of paper sulfur in the center ek corner pe fluorine ek wala hai aise corners pe fluorine ko rakh do aur ek top pe aur ek bottom pe and let me just connect them so what angles do i have now 90 and 90 all of the angles are 90 and what shapes the square ho gaya and it's a pyramid right ऊपर भी एक पिरामिड होएगा और ये किस तरह का पिरामिड है स्क्वायर बेस वाला क्या बस ऐसे एक पिरामिड है एक उसके नीचे पिरामिड है तो इस पिरामिड की कितनी साइड्स होंगी इफ आई वर टू ओपन इट अप आई विल गेट एट साइड्स ठीक है आई एम सॉरी इट्स रियली अगली बट एट साइडेड सो दिस इज एट साइडेड एट साइडेड को क्या बोलेंगे व्हाट इज द नंबर 8 ऑक्टेट ऑक्टा या ना ऑक्टा ऑक्टेट रूल एट होता है ऑक्टगॉन एट होता है ऑक्टोबर एट्थ मंथ होता है सो ऑक्टा हीड्रल हेड्रा मतलब साइड सो दिस इज ऑक्टा हीड्रल सो दे गो द एंगल्स आर 90 डिग्रीज ऑल ऑफ देम फ्रॉम 60 टू 90 दैट्स अ बिग जंप दैट इज अ लॉट ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस दैट वी एट साइड्स कैसे बन रही है लाइक सिक्स नहीं बन रही है ये तो या और इसकी साइड देखनी आपने कितनी साइड है सो हमारे पास इस तरह से ही बन जाता है सो इफ आई वो समराइज दिस माई सिग्मा विच आई विल नाउ चेंज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंस रीजन ई डी आर जब मेरे पास दो थे तीन थे चार थे पांच थे छ थे मेरा एंगल्स क्या बन रहे थे दो पे एंगल बन रहा था वन एटी डिग्री थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई टू तीन पे बन रहा था थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई थ्री वन ट्वेंटी फोर पे इट वॉज हंड्रेड नाइन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव पे इट वॉज नाइनटी एंड वन ट्वेंटी क्यों तीन एक प्लेन में जस्ट लाइक दिस वन और एक ऊपर एक नीचे जो थ्री डी ट्रेक्टोमेट्री के मुताबिक नाइनटी होते हैं and then in 6 i had 90 and what were the shapes this was linear because it was a straight line this was triangular which is trigonal planar then i had four sided tetrahedral then i had trigonal but two pyramids in so bi pyramidal and then 90 degree means octahedral so all that matters is i just look at the sigmas but why am i calling it electron dense region because sigma about the first pair that they share 
एंड एनी सब्सिक्वेंट पेयर डजेंट मेक मच डिफरेंस टू इट लेकिन वो भी तो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होते हैं जो शेयर नहीं होते सो अगर मैं सी एच फोर की एग्जाम्पल लेता हूँ सी एच फोर हैज फोर सिग्मा और उसकी शेप बनेगी वन और नाइन पॉइंट फाइव की वजह से टेट्राइड है बट अमोनिया को अगर मैं देखता हूँ अमोनिया हैज फोर पेयर इट हैज फोर पेयर राइट बट उनमें से टाइप ऑफ पेयर डिफरेंट है दीज आर ऑल बॉन्ड पेयर but this is bond pair and this is lone pair so what difference does lone pair make to the shape because notice that this is also where two electrons are two electrons two 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 and two bas fark ye hai ki ek shared hai aur ek shared nahi hai to jo shared hoga uski restriction thodi zyada hogi na because there are two elect two nucleuses pulling on it but jo shared nahi hoga उसकी रिस्ट्रिक्शन उतनी ज्यादा नहीं है विच मीन्स लोन पेयर इज मोर फ्री लोन पेयर इज मोर फ्री विच मीन्स इट हैज ग्रेटर रिपल्शन लोन पेयर रिपेल्स द अदर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मोर हाउ मच मोर रिपेल्स 2.5 डिग्रीज मोर इसका मतलब क्या होगा कि आपका पहले एंगल अगर यहां पे 109.5 था अब वो एंगल 2.5 डिग्री कम हो जाएगा क्योंकि उसको अमोनिया का दूसरा वाला पुल पुश कर रहा है बट आ जाके हैं तो आपके पास वही चार ही ना सो नाउ द एंगल इज नॉट 109.5 इट इज 2.5 डिग्रीज लेस तो हाउ मच इज इट What is 2.5 degrees less than 109.5? 107. 107, exactly, and that's the angle you get. So what happens is that now this is going to be slightly bent instead of being like that. Thoda sa idhar ko pull ho jayega, and this is 107.5. Oh, sorry, 107. So, ये भी वैसा ही है वैसे तो. This is also going to be. Pushed a little like that. So maybe hydrogen or maybe hydrogen or one or nine point five. Yeah, a little more push will be done. Let's take another example. Oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and then two lone pairs. If we were to look at this without the hybrid orbitals or which we have already talked about, so this is how it should be. Ninety. So we four, right? लेकिन चार नहीं होते दे कैन गेट ग्रेटर रिपल्शन सो इनका एंगल 109.5 होना चाहिए था लेकिन वो भी नहीं होता बिकॉज एवरी लोन पेयर पुशेज इट मोर सो इफ यू हैव टू लोन पेयर वन पुशेज बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव दर ऑल्सो पुशेज बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव तो ओवरऑल यूर पुशिंग बाय फाइव ओके वेन यू पुश बाय फाइव उससे क्या होगा एंगल कितना बन जाएगा ओवरऑल इफ द एंगल इज रिड्यूस बाय फाइव तो बताओ ना कितना एंगल हो जाएगा नो रिड्यूस इट वन और नाइन पॉइंट फाइव था और अब वो वन और सेवन और एक और टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर पॉइंट फाइव ये फोर पॉइंट फाइव अभी तक हमने क्या देखा Because you had four four EDRs, you had four electron dense regions. Okay. And because of four electron dense regions, you were able to get one or nine point five. Because notice, four or one or nine point five was there. But then there were two lone pairs, and every lone pair reduces the angle by two point five. So now the angle will be reduced by one or nine point five minus two point five minus two point five because you have uh, more. Uh, lone pairs. So the shape changes of the molecule. So let me take a few examples. If I have one lone pair, the shape is going to change a little bit. So instead of having ammonia like this, like as, मतलब CH four होता, तो मेरे पास ऐसे tetrahedral shape बनती. But now मेरे पास ammonia है. 
जिसका मतलब है कि मेरे पास ऊपर कुछ भी नहीं है मेरे पास शेप ये बन रही है ये कौन सी शेप है ये एक पिरामिड है ये कौन सी शेप थी ये ट्राइगोनल वाला पिरामिड था तो इसको हम कहेंगे इसको हम कह देंगे ट्राइगोनल ट्राइंगुलर है तो वाटर में मेरे पास दो लोन पेयर है और दो हाइड्रोजन है तो एंगल छोटा हो गया वन फोर पॉइंट फाइव हो गया और मेरी शेप ये बनी है लाइक बूमर एंड सो इसको कहते हैं बैंक शेप आपको इससे ज्यादा कि वो पूछता नहीं है इट्स रियली कीप्स इट सिंपल ज्यादा से ज्यादा आपको ये इनका पूछेगा और जो इरेगुलर शेप्स हैं जैसे अमोनिया है वाटर है वो आपको फोर ई वाली पूछेगा बट रिमेम्बर सिग्मा मैटर्स यू हैव टू जस्ट लुक एट द सिंगल बॉन्ड और यू लुक एट इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स सेंट्रल आइटम के आप देखो कि कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स हैं जो सिग्मा है या लोन पेयर है जो सिग्मा पेयर होगा वो इक्वल रिपेल करेगा जो लोन पेयर होगा वो ज्यादा रिपेल करेगा कितना ज्यादा टू पॉइंट फाइव डिग्रीज सो जस्ट रिमेम्बर दीज एंगल्स दो है तो थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई टू तीन है थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई वन ट्वेंटी थ्री चार है वन ओ नाइन पॉइंट फाइव पाँच है नाइन्टी एंड वन ट्वेंटी बिकॉज वन ट्वेंटी इन द सेम प्लेन एंड नाइन्टी ऊपर नीचे एंड सिक्स सो फोर इन द सेम प्लेन और नाइन्टी ऊपर नीचे सो जस्ट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज और जितने लोन पेयर आते जाएंगे ये एंगल टू पॉइंट फाइव से छोटा होता जाएगा तो अगर आपके पास तीन हो और उसमें एक आपके पास तीन सिगमा हो लेकिन उनसे ये सिगमा जुड़ जाए लोन पेयर बन जाए तो अगर दो सिगमा है और एक लोन पेयर है तो मुझे बताओ उसका क्या होगा एंगल दो सिगमा है ये ए है एक इधर एक इधर और एक लोन पेयर है वॉट शेप विल एंगल विल और एक उसके बाद लोन पेयर होता है तो 117.5 होता है सर सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक व्हाट शेप इट हैज एंड देन वी हैव टू लाइक रिड्यूस द एंगल नो 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 यू डोंट हैव टू चेक द शेप जस्ट चेक हाउ मेनी सिग्मा और लोन पेयर्स सेंट्रल एटम हैज काउंट करो उनको एंड देन सी व्हाट द एंगल शुड बी सो दिस इज द टेबल दैट यू नीड टू नो बाय हार्ट and if there is a lone pair reduce the angle by 2.5 let me share this okay. with you uh, let's draw them like this so here we have a shape so this is a simple atom i am adding one here so one bond pair so this is a line because dono ke beech mein ek central line hai and purple and white they are sharing that i add one more and now what happens they are going to repel each other more main usko uske paas leke jata hu wo usko push kar deta hai aur main jisse mazid unko ghumaun wo ek dusre ko push karenge aur ultimately 180 pe jaake wo maximum repulsion kar denge i can replace it with a double and still it has no effect i can replace with that with a triple and it has no effect because only the sigma or lone pair matters main iski jagah lone pair dal dun to kya hoga अभी लोन पे उसको थोड़ा सा ज्यादा पुल कर पुश कर देगा बस ठीक है वो उसके पास नहीं जा सकता वो उसको रिपेल कर रहा है लेट मी सो दिस इज 180 डिग्रीज राइट लेट मी ऐड वन मोर एंड नाउ व्हाट डू दे डू दे रिपेल ईच अदर सो मच दैट 360 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 मैं इसको जितना मर्जी ले लूं उसके पास आगे पीछे लेके जाना चाहूं दे आर ऑल इन द सेम प्लेन एंड दे आर ऑल 120 अच्छा अब इसमें मैं एक और डाल देता हूँ तो अब मेरी शेप आप देख रहे हो थ्री डायमेंशनल हो गई है एंड दी एंगल इज वन और नाइन पॉइंट फाइव वो पीछे वाले को मैं इधर लेके आऊँ तो एक दूसरे को रिपेल फिर भी करते रहते हैं एंड दे मेक श्योर दैट दे गो बैक टू हैविंग द टेट्राहीड्रल शेप 
which is this one like methane if i add one more to pata kya hoga notice where it goes it will go at the bottom aur ye jo teen niche wale hai na ye jo teen niche wale hain ye teenon ek plane mein aa jayenge because notice that i now this one is pushing them downwards but when i add one more when i add one more it goes in the bottom and now i have three of them in the same plane three of them in the same plane this one this one this one aur aapko baki ka angle 120 ka milega baki ka 90 ka angle hoga to iska aapas mein uh, i'll try to show it in the same plane ye 120 hai aur aapas mein uska 90 ho gaya baki mein se theek hai do you get it yes sir i like this theek hai and if i add one more and now they're all 90 degrees maximum repulsion no matter where it goes it is octahedral maximum repulsion now let me replace them with double bonds if i keep on adding double bonds the angle doesn't change it is just like that because the second bond the pi doesn't matter for uh, the molecular shape but lone pair does if i add lone pair the angle is not 120 although this model shows it is 120 because ye realistic nahi hai but if it was realistic to aap water ko dekho to water ka angle yahan pe water ki bajaye hum dekh lete hain carbon dioxide ko dekho linear uh sulfur dioxide not 120 aapka exam kehte hain aapke syllabus kehte hain it should be 117.5 aapne 117.5 hi likhna aapne 119 nahi likhna kyunki practically on the nine hai but for reasons that you don't study in a levels uska angle hamare model ke mutabik 117.5 hoga similarly agar main yahan se koi aur le lu bf3 for example three models a uh, three bond pairs no lone pair so uska angle mere table ke mutabik 120 agar main koi aur le leta hu ch4 le leta hu 109.5 kyunki tetrahedral hai main ammonia le leta hu चार है ना मेरे एंगल्स लेकिन उनमें से एक जो है वो लोन पेयर है तो मेरा एंगल 109.5 के बजाय उससे कम है आपका सिलेबस कहता है राइट 107.5 सो राइट 107.5 डोंट राइट 107.8 क्योंकि वो उसकी वजह आप नहीं पढ़ते तो देयर आर स्लाइट वेरिएशंस बट द वैल्यू ऑफ 2.5 एग्जिस्ट्स एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल्स लेटर ऑन एज वी स्टडी मोर but remember that the advantage of having hybrid orbitals expanded octets and vesper is that the lone pair or the bonded pair they all get to be as far away from each other as they can which reduces the mutual repulsion and increases the stability of the molecule and that is why they retain their shapes that way so vesper is an excellent tool to remember this and this table you should be able to able to make it yourself the angle to be higher so if i were to summarize this draw the molecule koi bhi molecule milta hai draw it phir aap dekho usme kitne electron pairs hain sigma ya lone pair count them all four aa jate hain okay tetrahedral shape hai 109.5 angle then that's your starting point phir aapne dekhna hai isme lone pair kitna hai if there is one lone pair reduce the angle by 2.5 if it is two lone pairs reduce the angle by 5 it is more 2.5 twice and that is how it goes aapko wo kehta hai ki six hain jinme se do lone pairs hain to ab six pe angle banta hai 90 ka aur do lone pairs ki wajah se angle ban jayega 85 to bas aapne 85 likh dena So, वो कभी पूछेगा नहीं क्योंकि जब सिक्स में जाते हैं तो कुछ और बातें भी आ जाती हैं फैक्टर्स दैट यू नीड टू कंसीडर बट अगेन नॉट इन दिस इज द वे इट्स गोइंग टू बी ऑल द बेस्ट